Welcome to another free mini tutorial brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. I get asked this question all the time. You've got two combo boxes on your form. You want to pick a value in the first one and then have the second one change its list of options based on the value selected in the first one. For example, you've got a list of states and a list of cities. When the user picks a state, such as New York, the second combo box only shows cities from that state. Now this is just one example, but everyone always asks me how to do this, so I'm going to show you a quick way to do it. It's not easy. There is some programming involved, and this is something advanced that I normally cover in my programming classes. Usually I cover this in Access 307, which is after my users have already gotten into some VBA programming, but I'm going to show you quickly how you can do this. I have two tables set up. One is a state table that has a list of five states, perhaps states that I have offices in and a city table which has a list of cities and what state they belong to. I've set up a customer form. Now in the customer form I use the combo box wizard to set up two combo boxes. The state combo box simply pulls off the state table and I name this box state combo. If you look at its properties I call this one state combo. The second one here is called city combo. Those are names I gave them. Alright, now the city combo box pulls its values off of a query, a special query that I built called city Q. City Q is unique because the state is filtered based on forms, customer F, state combo. So in other words, when the user picks a state on the combo box, this value becomes the criteria for the query that feeds the city combo box. Okay, I have a separate lesson where I actually talk about how to get a value off of a form. This is how you do it. Forms, exclamation point, customer F, exclamation point, state combo. This query then feeds this combo box. So when you look at the form here, here's the state, Florida, drop this down, there's the cities from Florida. Now the problem that you have is if you change this value here to let's say New York, this box doesn't update. So you need a little bit of programming, you need an after update event for the state. Now I have a whole separate lesson on my website that shows you an after update event in detail, but here it is real quick. Right click on the combo box for the state, come down to properties. Once you get the properties open, go to the event tab and find the after update property hit the dot dot dot, go to Code Builder, and then hit OK. Now you're in the VB Code Builder, and inside the state combo after update, all you have to say is city combo dot requery, and that's it. When the state combo box is changed, the city combo box will automatically be requeried. I'm going to save my form and close it, and then open it back up again. Now if I were to change this to say California, when I drop this box down, there's the only city from California. If I drop this down again and pick New York, drop this box down, there's all the cities from New York. So when this one is changed, this guy down here is requeried. Now there's all kinds of additional things you can do here. You can have it so it automatically opens this up or clears the value. There's code you can put so when you move from record to record, it'll automatically update this list as well. There's lots more you can do. I cover all these different examples in my Access 307 class, but this just gives you a vague idea of how you can do this, because I've only got a couple minutes to show it to you. That's how you can cover having one combo box, updating a second combo box. And again, I only scratched the surface because I've only got a couple minutes in this free tutorial to show you this, but that's how you can make one combo box, filter the, re the records in a second combo box. Now, I cover this example in exquisite detail in my Access 307 class. I do this exact same thing with all the different options and flavors. AccessLearningZone.com, question mark, G-O-A-C 307. I cover combo boxes, I cover some basic uh, database security, splitting a database, building a custom search button. There's lots more. It's a whole hour-long class. And this is, um, I spend a lot of time on this specific example in that class. But Access 307 is where you can find it. I do cover some of the other topics that I talked about today, like getting a value off of a different form, or reading a form value into query, 
in my tips and tricks section. Tips and tricks section is free. Lots of good free tutorials just like this one in there. So I hope you check it out and I hope you enjoy it.